to the podcast, Roderick. We're so excited to talk to you today. And I'm excited to dig in. Yes. And, and I am as well. Yeah. So you're making a movie, I heard. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, the title of it is Open, A Journey Through Love. The focus of the documentary is to destigmatize ethical non-monogamy and examine the profound positive effects it can have on individuals and relationships. Yeah. Got it. Yeah. I love it. I really spent a lot of time listening to the podcast going, oh my God, these are really normal people with normal lives who work jobs and love their kids. And maybe it's worth actually looking into getting to know some of these people. And so um, it's been really fulfilling to have these relationships. Um, I stumbled upon these lifestyle podcasts and here I was listening to a longtime married couple talk about their experience opening up their marriage. And in between these sexy stories were tales of personal growth and improving intimacy. There are people out there that are entirely, wholly, impossibly dedicated to the person in their life and would never, ever, ever do anything but want to see them happy and fulfilled and heard and valued. And they actually find joy in seeing someone else feel the same way about them. Mm -hmm. That is the definition of compersion. For me, unconditional love is, is if my partner is having fun doing this and I care about her, then why would I be upset? She's coming home to me happy. I ended up listening to all seven years of their podcast and their relationship in seven days. And <laughs> wow, that's quite the commitment. <laughs> yep, it literally was like looking at mathematical blueprints, how this lifestyle experience was impacting their self-esteem, communication, obviously compassion. Yeah, it, it, was, it was just incredible. That's what got me started in the lifestyle, in the, well, non-monogamous, but, but ethical uh, uh, lifestyle. And then I met Pam, and I'm a blind date. <laughs> okay, I'm 70 now. So I was 64 and something when we met. Um, and as he alluded before, when the person who, Six, no, 66. Yeah. I'm only a CPA that can't do math. <laughs> um. <laughs> I said, this whole sex with other people thing sounds titillating and all, but we must not settle for anything less than the kind of relationship that I keep hearing about. The sex got my attention, but it was the relationship stuff that I was like, oh no, I must have that. I feel like we're happier because we are more, we're transparent with each other. Like right. there's no secrets. You know, which is great because the I mean, traditional married couple, some things you can't talk to your yeah. spouse about, yeah. you know, you have to keep to yourself, but we don't have that problem. We can talk to each other about anything. Yeah, I mean, anything. Like this is not for everyone. This documentary is not about saying everybody should be a swinger. Or it's an option that's out there. Yeah, it's not better than monogamy. It's not mm -hmm. less than monogamy. It's just another way of, of relating. I love it. Sometimes all ethical non-monogamy is, for some couples, is a conversation that deepens their relationship. And it brings up, what are your fears? What is this? And, and then they realize that they might be able to find that deeper intimacy by trying something else that's new and exciting and erotic, you know, whether it's a, a, a kind of travel or something high adventure or deepening their spiritual practice or whatever it is. I'm excited for the film and to see it all come together and to be a part of it and to hopefully open people's eyes in a way that, that maybe maybe hasn't happened before. This could be, again, my own naive optimism, but I feel like things are changing. The world is ready to hear something new about this kind of thing. And I've never been disrespected because of my race and the lifestyle. And I've been disrespected because of my race all of my life, but not in the lifestyle. That's what turns me on so much about her, is her confidence. Like, I've seen it grow so much since the beginning of our relationship to now. Her confidence has just skyrocketed, and I love it. That is one of my biggest turn-ons. Been working on the uh, documentary for months now. It's been an incredible experience. Uh, by the time this is done, we'll have about 100 hours of footage to distill down to an hour and a half. This type of work doesn't get mainstream funding. Right. So we often rely on, on the community to lift the community. And so 
please reach out to, to Roderick or to us. Yeah, I, I pretty much resolved about a month ago that I'm going to have to launch an Indiegogo campaign to help mm -hmm. support this. Because, yeah, man, it's it's definitely breaking the bank, all this travel and so on. Yeah, uh, if there thing, is, we so. will we will make sure everybody knows about it. The website is www.openjourneylove.com. Thank you again, Roderick, for coming on and sharing everything you did for your work for your enthusiasm it's infectious and we've, we've loved our conversation today so thank yeah you. thank you thank you so much yeah absolutely yeah. no this has been absolutely amazing thank you for your time <laughs>